Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. How are you all doing? Grade one. Good. That's very great. Yes, I'm also good. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. And welcome to your second lesson of numeracy uh, in week number 10, right? So in today's class, we will be practicing some more of addition. Uh, in, in, in our last class, in yesterday's class, we practiced uh, or learned about what addition is, what are different types of number operations, right? And what do we do in addition, right? So tell me how many of you have practiced that at your home? Yes, raise your hands. How many of you have practiced it at your home? That's wonderful. Okay, so here I'm going to, uh, let's practice what we have learned so far. Who is going to define addition for me? Yes. What does addition means to you? Putting things together. Excellent. Putting things together or putting things all together, right? When we put things all together or when we combine them, the sum that we get is called as addition, right? Okay. So now we practiced one digit and two digit addition, right? So tell me if there are two numbers that are 12 plus 3, what would be the answer for that? You will always start from the right hand side. First, you will be writing the values over it and then you will add. So 3 plus 2 equals 5 and 1 as it is. So this means that 12 plus 3 equals 15, right? Okay. Now I'm writing some more uh, sums over here to find the answers of that. The first one is 15. Yes, what would be the first step? Who is going to tell me what would be the first step? Excellent, that we will be writing them in vertical order, right? So the vertical order is one above the other. What would be the second step? That we will be writing their placing values. So they, this is only one digit, so it has only one's number. Okay, now eight plus three equals eight, nine, 10, 11. So the answer is 11. Now who is going to tell me the answer of second one? Hurry up. Solve it on your notebooks and tell me the answer. 5 plus 2 equals 7. And we will be following the same procedure. That first we will write them in vertical order. Then we will be writing their placing values. And then we will add the numbers, right? Okay. Now look at the last one. Who is going to tell me the answer of third one? Yes, Elise. 11 plus 9. 20. Excellent. Okay. So I'm happy you have revised the lecture at your home. Now in today's class, we will be moving a step forward and we will practice addition of three digit numbers, right? Now, what does three digit number means? First, tell me what does three or more digit numbers? Three or more are numbers, let's say 100, 250, 333. These are three digit numbers how three digit one two three one two three see all of them have three digit numbers now more than three means let's say or uh it, in other case it can be like this now this is a three digit number and what it says that three or more numbers and what does adding three or more number mean let's say you have five one two now these are three numbers that you are supposed to add right three digit numbers and three numbers are two different things we will not be practicing this at your level right we will just practice this then how to add three or more numbers now these are three what if i add nine over here now these are four numbers right so we will be practicing this in today's class okay so how we will practice this, we will be drawing a number line on our notebooks and then we will play a small game and learn about how to add three or more numbers, okay? So tell me how many of you remember what is a number line? Remember, we practiced finding missing numbers using the number line. And I told you that we can draw the number line in two forms. This is known as horizontal order and this is known as vertical order 
right so i tell you that whenever you are uh, finding the missing numbers when you whenever you are writing the counting or doing sum you can use this number line for doing that right so you can draw this either on the bottom of your page or on the right corner right so in in horizontal or vertical form so i want all of you to please draw the number line on your notebook hurry up like this start from 0 and ends at 10 okay all of you are done okay great so see here is this teddy bear you will help the teddy bear in adding three numbers okay so start from zero first half at two then at three and then at four so this means that the three numbers that the teddy bear wants to add are two three four so you will write the numbers over here in the vertical order the numbers are two three four right now we will start adding it 2 plus 3 equals 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. Okay. Now let's do the second one. Okay. Now and in the next turn, the teddy bear again started from 0. And at first, it hops at number 3 then at number five and then at number six so now the numbers that you are supposed to add are three five six so first write the numbers in the vertical order like this one above the other and then start adding so six plus five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so the numbers are fourteen got it now 14 is the answer okay now let's practice it again the the uh, teddy bear will again start from zero okay now who will tell me the answer of it okay so let's you can choose any three number of your own choice and then add them okay so tell me what are your favorite numbers yes yes it is you tell me what are your favorite numbers six four and eight why do you only like even numbers okay that's great so alisa says that four then six then eight okay and alisa will tell me the answer of this okay hurry up alisa add four six eight and then tell me what's the answer eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18. So the answer is 18. Great. Okay. Now who is going, who is turn? Who is going to uh, do this time? Yes. Okay. Vase wants to do. Yes, Vase. What are your favorite numbers? Vase, you can choose more than three numbers as well. So tell me what are your favorite numbers? Yes. Number three. Okay. Okay, now I'm making stars with that. Okay, number three, then number five and eight, two. Okay, so now Vase have uh, pointed out four numbers. So we will be writing these four numbers one above the other and then we will add them. Okay, so let's first write the numbers in the vertical order. The first number is two, then number three, then we have number five and finally number eight we will place them one above the other and then we will add okay so here we have see what is the uh what does heading says three or more numbers right so see we have three or more than three means that it can be four it can be five it, it can be six seven and so on so here we have four numbers right and we will be adding them so let's start adding eight plus five eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Again, we have the answer 
18. Okay, see, when we have the answer of any, um, when we add the numbers, and the answer is a two-digit number. See, we have only one-digit number over here, but the answer is two-digit. And you get confused at how you will write it. So what you will be doing, you will write the number on a side, then write the placing values above it, right? You will write the ones digit below the ones column and the other one over here. And then write, make a tens column for that. And remember where there is no number, this means that the zero is already there. Got it? Okay. So now I want all of you to open your book, page number 47. Hurry up. This is page number 47. Open it. Now here we have the related questions, okay? That we are supposed to add three or more numbers. So here is this small rabbit. The rabbit starts at zero, take a hop of two, then three, and lastly four. So here we have three numbers. First, you will write them in vertical order, one above the other, and then you will add them. So the answer is number nine, okay? Great. Who is going to add the next for me? Yes. Rabbit first hop at five, then six, and then nine. So add these numbers and tell me what's the answer. Hurry up. The answer is very well done. Okay. Now I want you to look at the board again. We will be practicing some more. See, in your book, there were only three questions, right? So we will be practicing some more. So I want you to pay attention on the board, okay? If you want to, you can draw the number line again as well. See, now let's say the rabbit starts from zero and first hop at two. So the first number is two, right? The next time rabbit hops at number four. So how many numbers are in between two and four? How we get four by adding two and two, right? If you want to know that how many numbers we will be adding in two to get four, two. So this means you will, the next number is number two. You will not be writing number four. How many numbers the rabbit have hop? You will be writing that, okay? So again, number two. Now the next time, let's say if the rabbit hop at number seven, so how many spaces are in between? How, uh, how many numbers we will be adding? Then we will get number seven. Three, excellent. How did you come to know? One, two, three. So the next number is three. Now you will be adding them. So three plus two, five plus two, seven. Got it? Now let's practice this. Okay, the rabbit starts from zero. At first, it hop at number three. So here I'm writing number three. At second, it hop at number five. How many numbers are in between three and five? Two, excellent. And at last, the rabbit hop at number six. How many spaces? Only one. Add them. Three plus two, five plus one, six. So the answer is number six. Got it? Okay. Now who is going to do the next for me? I I'll be giving you four numbers and then you will be finding the answer of it, okay? Okay, at for, the rabbit starts from zero and at first it hop at number three, then at number five and finally at number nine and then number 10, okay? You are supposed to find what are the numbers. First number would be three. How many spaces between three and five? Two, then two, three, four. The next is? Four. And finally, how many spaces in between 9 and 10? 1. So 3 plus 2, 5. Plus 4, 9. Plus 1, 10. 
Was it interesting? Yes or no? Okay, great. Now draw the number lines uh, or on the same number line. I'll be telling you numbers and you will be adding them. Okay. I'll be randomly telling you the numbers you will add. Okay. At first, uh, the rabbit will hop at two. Then at three. And finally at five. So tell me what's the number? What's the answer? Two, then three, then five. Tell me what are the numbers and then what's the answer? Five. Excellent. Okay, class. That was all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the lecture. Do practice it at your home and let me know if you have any confusion. I'll be seeing you in the next class. Take care. Allah Hafiz.